I am so happy to be right here right now and introduce to you the savory muffins. Mom used to make savory muffins for our excursions, but she would make two batches, one with meat on top that we eat before we travel, and the other ones with the mixed meat for our picnics, and I am going to show you both. First, I'm going to fry the meat with the onions, and even celery for that extra oomph. Everything with beautiful olive oil, and I'm going then, at the same time, make my batter. Olive oil. This frying pan it has more than 20 years, 22 years actually. Many, many years ago, when people would travel, you would not find by the sides of the road rest areas, restaurants, and places where you could snack or buy some food or have a coffee. You would have to prepare your picnic for the journey. And today, I am reminded of these times where my father had this passion for traveling. It all started because my father's curiosity was sparked by history books. And then my father started to dream about all the places he wanted to see. First step was to get a job. My mother and father became primary school teachers. Second step was to get a car. And their first car was a Fiat 600. So my father started to take notes and write information about countries, cities, and people that he knows in places all over the world properly plan the travels. 40 years ago, without the GPS, you would have to plan with your head buried in maps. These maps, normally, they were huge and they would fold themselves in right creases that we would always miss and sometimes would rip the maps and my father would be so upset. The first adventure would certainly be to Vilar Frumoso and Fuentes do Ñoro. And this was the frontier between Portugal and Spain, and people would go there to buy several things. Things would be cheaper, but mostly they would have so much color compared with the things in Portugal that mostly would be gray. Our shopping list was always very extensive, but we had to make sure that we would buy the rare things. And the rare things were the Spanish bread, yes, Spanish bread, the cans of pineapple in its juice, and cans of peach in its juice. My dream was always to get a new doll at the border because they smelled so nice. It was like smelling vanilla. And usually we would meet someone at the border that was so kind, Mr. Vasco, and he offered me one of the most treasured dolls I ever had. And she smelled like cinnamon and vanilla. My doll's name was Nancy and he had this collection of clothes that was fabulous. As a little kid, I remember to think how blessed I was that I was able to travel and to have my father teaching me all of the cool places around the world. As a family, we traveled to more than 30 countries together and there is a bond with traveling and discovering different places that will never be broken. And my memory is full of wonderful stories that I'm looking forward to share with you. I hope you're enjoying this video and if you do please leave the like and don't forget to comment because it helps to grow the channel and even a little emoji is really important on that note where are you watching me from if you want to add the flag of your country i would love to know i'm very grateful for your support and please let me invite you to become a member to the channel so i can bring more stories and amazing recipes well, see you soon and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to serve with love and bon appétit!